Joseph Roundtree Foundation has just launched a report on neighbourhoods, active citizenship and localism. And I'm here with uh, Liz Richardson, the author, and uh, also with Mick Charlton from uh, Bradford, where research was done. So, Liz, what's the um, main lessons you've got from the Bradford uh, work for other local authorities? Because it was pretty wide-ranging. Yeah, we covered a lot of ground. The main messages were firstly that it was really brilliant to work with Bradford because we could learn from their direct experience on the ground of doing neighbourhood working. The second big lesson was that neighbourhood working is hard to explain, it's not very tangible, you don't quite know what it is, but it has this huge value because there's somebody in a neighbourhood who pulls things together, who organises, who sorts, who smooths things over. And without that organising role, it doesn't have to be the council that does it, but it's good if it, it is. Without that organising role, um, things just don't get accelerated and energised in the same way. The third big lesson is about trust and risk. That transferring control to communities and to neighbourhoods, transferring more control, means you just have to trust people that little bit to get on and do things by themselves. Sometimes they'll mess up, sometimes they won't. And there has to be some way of keeping that accountable but also allowing the space for that to happen. And uh, Mick, what's it been like having a researcher looking over your shoulder for uh, the last year or so? Well, it's been all right because it was this one. I don't know what I'd have felt about some other ones. But, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it's been good working with Liz because, you know, she's come up with lots of ideas. I mean, you normally think of research as just there listening and um, taking away and changing often what you've said to be something else. That hasn't been the case with Liz, and it's been a lot of her actually uh, offering up ideas as well and then uh, listening to kind of like how, you know, ourselves within the, um, the group have sort of like... Um, got a hold of those ideas and then tried to make it into something so it's been a bit of a two-way process so a lot of listening there and a lot of uh, contributing of ideas. And do you think other local authority officers will from this report um, say well that's very different or are a lot of other people following this path now anyway? Um, uh, it's a good question uh, I don't really know what other people will say um, but I think probably generally that there, there often is uh, too much of a distance between the researcher and the researcher so what you end up producing is a story which doesn't actually really uh, stand up as being true so you, it's, it, it's got a kind of truth but um, you kind of end up mixing up messages but where you've got that closeness of um, you know that engagement that you've you know had through through Liz I think you, you're more likely that the report at the end will tell the story of uh, what you know was really going on. And Liz, I, I asked whether um, there was another report to be done or another piece of research to be done which looked at things more from the citizen's perspective. You couldn't do everything, but uh, I think you touched on that a bit in the report. But is there lots more to be done from that perspective? Uh, yes, because uh, in the report I make the point that working in neighbourhoods, as opposed to neighbourhood working, which is the formal bit, working in neighbourhoods is anyone doing anything that's of community benefit. I mean, that's a massive area and with so much we could do there about what sort of um, mechanisms better help and support people get involved in neighbourhoods. What stops them? You know, why do they get annoyed? Why do groups fail? You know, what, all of those things. So I think there's a lot more research that we could do on this much broader uh, field of active citizenship.